the people to do our dirty work. <laughs> I told Steve, I'm like, oh no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the one, well, that's the thing is, like, at this point, like, nothing can really phase me on social media. Just after eight years of this. But when I saw that one, I started to get mad. And then I saw that you had already jumped in. I was like, okay. You're like, okay, we're good. She's been served. <laughs> Spokane. Yeah. That's exciting. He's super excited. He starts to like Oh, that's soon. So you're going to do Summerfest and then a few weeks and he's gone. Summerfest and then he gets home at Oh, it's home team. Okay. For six weeks? I don't know how that's going to work because I have Three weeks. And then he's off. I have girls camp July 15th through the 18th with Rin. So I'm like, how's that going to work? Because I'm supposed to be Oh. <laughs> Spencer, we're going to have to get. <laughs> Are they making you start going into the office? I know, right? Like, oh, I <laughs> Oh, that's exciting. Spokane. I hear it's nice up there. I've never been up there. Yes, people have said it's gorgeous up there. Yeah. And they said that it's like Park City. Okay. And I'm like, ooh. You have to go visit. We might have to go to the U.S. for your mission. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I speak by Seattle and Park City and then come home. Well, you know, Spokane's almost close enough to do the Homeward Bound Challenge. Have you heard about that one that missionaries do? So those that live close enough, they get, they go back to their house, take a picture in front of their house in their missionary clothes, and get back. Which I, which one?
So it's just Chick-fil-A and Smith thing? Oh, oh, and Apple's Oh, it's all just something. So the whole, I mean, good. I did too. I looked up her email like ten times and not got an email. I have never seen this. I just have to take a day and So we'll figure out. Our choice is going to be at a virtual user. So, you can also purchase it. So, I'm not moving on to the city council. Yeah, I'm going to the city council. 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 Well, Jill, no, I think. And I said, Jill, I said, well, how many people do there was there was a technically they have to be parking on the next? I think you guys should be okay. We're okay. Can we make this a running problem? No. Okay. We've already gone through this. All right. So we have our code. Have a call. Our government may have another apple fire. Okay. Can you? But I would be able to grab it. Yeah. Okay, so that's the code. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> no, like, just making sure. I'm like, I want to get started on the signing in. Pete. Oh, yeah, yeah where's Pete? I think we have to be real. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's it. Pete's fired. <laughs> I didn't even see Lee. As soon as Pete comes, let's start. Okay, we'll start as soon as Pete gets here. Okay,
in their shows uh-huh and so they're sending that out as well so i think i think everything's looking good to have a good representation and diversity in the, in the show so that's great yeah. awesome okay and adam will mc you will adam will mc i'm going to see someone else no this is uh, <laughs> that's what he told me okay perfect ashley boutiques okay we're flying we have I think we blasted we that email. Yep. Um, we got several more in the last couple days, mm -hmm. so that was good. We're going to close it on Friday, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're going to make our selections. Hopefully, most of them will be getting in anyway. Um, we're going to reach out this week to the businesses and see about the business showcase portion of it, which is not really called that. So don't. Yes, this what are we calling it? I don't know. Oh, it's the show yeah, really cool stuff to do. <laughs> business showcase. Probably. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people that actually reached out in the businesses were like, we have a bingo board and we have a. So I'm like, even better. Yeah. Like so, great. maybe they will be more interested than I'm Did we have a cap on how many we were gonna have down there? <laughs> I don't know what what, what's a reasonable number you think we can accommodate pretty easily? Where do you want to put that? Makes sense. You tell me where the best place is. I have here at the sidewalk. Probably ten. Yeah, and okay. I don't think but we'll even. I don't think we'll vote. So I don't know. Maybe no, no, there's going to be better response no, than I think. I think we'll pick um, back on me. Probably just kind of start. See how it goes, I guess, possibly. Or? Okay. Just to get a mass mount before I can move around or. We don't want to mess up the sidewalk chalk. No, no, no that's not the other part. side. Yeah. Yeah, that's You're right. right. You're right. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we may need more than 10. So Ken has been getting a lot of interest as like nonprofits that want to be a part of the. Okay. So. Awesome. So other than that, I think we're we're doing just great. We will have it all filled. Uh, there's a lot of interest, like I said last time, on the picking your own spot. So Pete and I have 
not be, and I repeat that I didn't do anything. But we're gonna we're gonna see if this works this year and see what there there's gonna be one spot that is linked to that payment, so there can't be two spots of the same sold. Do you think so? I don't think so, but you know, people are great. People are great on each. So. But we're fine, so we'll we'll be good. I think in the next two weeks we'll be pretty much full. Awesome, our spots will be full. That is great. Okay, food vendors. Okay, we have here on our list now and invited twenty one different food vendors. Um, Tim's not going to like this, but of 21, 11 of them are traders or trucks. <laughs> 10 of them are 10 by can or 12 by can can be those. If you want, uh, of those 21, 19 of them have already got back to me and I say they will be there. I'm only waiting on two more to get with me and let me know if they're coming or not. And we already have two or three of them that are already started submitting their payments. So and that we have and their agreements. I will be sending a list to Jason Adamson probably Monday or Tuesday of next week so we can mail them all the insurance information. And that. If you want, I can read the list and tell you who they are. I'd love okay. to hear. I would love to hear too. Okay. <laughs> First one is Kona Ice. They are a big ice, no home type place. Second is Sweet Road Tacos. They were with us last year at okay. uh, Ice Cream. Dessert type thing. Next is Hawaiian Vito Vito. They are grilled chicken, roasted chicken place, Polynesian type food. Next is Marathon Concessions. They are like chicken strips, chicken sandwiches, pretty much similar to kind of like Chick fil A. Um, I should have said uh, Hawaiian Vito Vito is one of our sponsors. Also, All American Grill. They are American style grill hamburgers, ribbon fries, hot dogs, that type of thing. They've been um, forgiven. Pardon? They've been forgiven. They, yeah. Okay. A little more, more than that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they are a sponsor too this year. Uh, Moki's Hawaiian Grill, also a sponsor, Polynesian type food, Golden Spike Concessions, American Grill style food. I Chaco, they are a Mexican food, street food place. Fruitso, uh, they were with us last year, been with us a lot of years. They are a sponsor this year. Fruitso is back. Dogar roasted corn, they are roasted corn, Mexican a little day. Oh my gosh, those were so good. Were they last year? Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. Uh, another uh, second snow cone place, Greeny Snowies. The ice cream place, Dippin' Dots. Pizza place, slice of pizza. Texas Twister for drinks. The Italian place, big sandwiches. Uh, other kind of club sandwiches. Um, authentic Navajo tacos. They'll have an Navajo tacos with fry bread. Rolling pineapple. They were here last year. They were very popular. Yeah. We saw everybody over there walking around with pineapple and drinks. So they're back. Uh, we have a cotton candy place, lollipop gourmet cotton candy. Kettle corn, Papa Jacks. We got a hot dog, chip, and drink place, Franks and Drinks. And we have another Mexican place, Dress Street Pops. Mm. So Absolutely. everything's going great. I really no, no problems at all. That sounds like a good question. <laughs> yeah. Do you anticipate any of them having to pay the overage charge? They, I, I haven't even looked at how much people pay. Um, they all are going to get that 20 dollar 20 foot space uh -huh. that are in the 20 that are paying the 1400 dollars uh -huh. i'm not really right now trying i'm trying to figure out how to pay for the extra two or three feet if they got two or three feet of talk space yeah because in, in the application we told them that we charge them 100 dollars yeah, per extra they post. should all be aware of that i will send out a final letter saying if you, if you come in and you pay for a 20 foot space and you're actually paying three I'll be a little more. 
unless Tim and I can figure out how we can get all of them in there and not make such a big deal. Okay. So, well, Tim wasn't a fan of all the trucks, so it sounds like that's going to be your problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Power wise, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good uh, mix of power. I don't think that would be an issue. Yeah. Uh, it's just that a few of them are going to be a little, a little extra. Because there's 11 of them, it'll take up a little more of I have so, a boutique question. Um, do we know where those power boxes are in the boutiques? So oh, which ones? The ones on the sides? Yeah, the ones like in the grass everywhere, like the ones that got run over last year and something else. Uh, I can give you a layout map of where they have been in the past. That the would be awesome. Probably about the exact same place. Because sometimes when I have the double and I open both of them, I don't want to put them there. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of challenge. This is the layout kind of only works really one or two ways. Which is totally so, fine. So if I have just the thing yeah. on there, I can move them around. Perfect. That's perfect. Well, Thank well. you. Great. Thank you. Um, car show. John is not here. I think everything's set though. Yeah, JC Hackett's got it all. I mean, he brings all the cars. We had a meeting with Rev Road, who's just kind of sponsored over last week, uh, or not, probably last month. He, everything seems like it's. They're on top of it. Forward, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're probably not going to give t shirts to every, but we used to give t shirts to every participant. There's always issues where sizes were off. Yeah. There weren't enough. So I think this year we're going to do. He wants to do fuzzy dice. <laughs> I mean, fuzzy dice or not, but just something that doesn't isn't size specific. And yeah, something that can just something be else to give away. away. For yeah, be fun, right? Yeah. Okay. And the truck truck artist is been hired, and it's the same one from last year. Oh, awesome! And the chalk is already here. Sweet. That's always a fun. They want a larger area by chance. Or that little section. I think that's perfect. Yeah. I was surprised he came back after last year. He was a little stressed out. He was a little stressed out. Okay. Hospitality tip, rotary breakfast. Things are going good for that. Kenna, you're also working on the donations for that. So everything's good on my end. Baby contest, Haley cannot be here. She sent me an email um, asking a couple questions. She said, everything with the event planning is going smoothly so far. Not a lot of big updates from last time. Volunteer t-shirts and onesies. She sent a spreadsheet with the quantity and sizes that she needs to Trevor a few weeks ago and just wanted to confirm that those are ordered. Yeah, we're, we haven't ordered them yet. We've got a sponsor who's going to help us do the t-shirts, which I guess is something we're going to need from everybody, is uh, the, the sizes and the uh, quantities. Okay. I will let her know that. And then um, registration is up and running, and any previous encryption problems have been removed. They plan to officially launch advertising on May 1st. And then she had a couple questions about swag and prizes. She said, last meeting we found out Chick-fil-A is providing books. Do we know what the quantity is? 400. 400. Okay. And then do we know what gift United Way is providing yet? Um, no. Well, kind of. They're going to be books. But I don't know. I mean, they'll be nice books. Okay. And then um, they would like to know an approximate size so they can order prize bags. I'll have to find out. Okay, I'll get back with them. Okay. And that is all from Haley. So next is Storytelling Festival and Spirit Awards. I'm like, okay. I know I saw you. I'm like looking yeah. for you. Okay, so I do have a few yeah. things. So Bill's fee is $1,500, which is like the same Kim was last yeah. year. So it's only to pay. And then I got his email so that we can send him a contract 
Sam wanted to make sure that we're still set up. Bill Lever was still. Bill Lever. Oh, he's so good. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to actually reach out to the one we talked about last time. He just wasn't available. So, but Sam Payne offered that. This guy's. Uh, to essentially make the connection. Yeah. And he is like kind of the same, like, same way. Like, he does music and he has a show on the History Channel. And he'll be here on Friday at the library. Um, I listen to him and he is funny. Yeah. West Virginia, yeah. right? I think. Yeah. yeah I listen to a few of his things. Yeah. Really so he can arrive on the 5th and then yeah. need to depart on the 8th. And Sam was really worried because last year, I guess, Kim did like two things for us yeah. instead of one. Or not yeah, one. but we're not having sure. because we had her on the Saturday night. Okay. We're not doing that this year. Okay, so that's fine. So we're, that, those days work for us. So you don't fly in the 5th and yeah. we'll leave on the 8th? Until we on the 8th. Yeah, I'll uh, get the hotel room. Okay, perfect. And then uh, Sam and his band want to come back and they could not remember how much they got paid last year. They really, they really don't remember. I asked. Yeah. I really don't remember because I was like, I, I have no idea. Like, what was it? I think he did for free. Did he? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked that up over here. That is hilarious. But he was like, yeah, he, didn't know if we needed to set him a contract or not. So I was like, we don't. He's free. Yeah, no, he didn't do it for free. Okay. Uh, but he, let me. I just, I just need to look. I'll look up in our agreements right now. Okay. And then I kind of talked to you already about it, Kenna, but just BYU Broadcasting being a sponsor and doing the sound that night and bringing in the equipment and taking it out. And that is really all I have other than Spirit Awards. How do we get like their bio? Just so we just reach out to the people that nominated them okay. and start from there. Who ended up being the ones? So Lisa Williams and Amy Torres are the ones that won in the end. Um, so yeah, we'll just reach out to those people and start there and then we may actually have to contact the actual winners to get a picture and maybe okay. some more information. Can't like we can do a little bit of that, see what's <laughs> out there on them. Um, but yeah, I'll help you with that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. And I totally skipped over Annie. Um, sorry about that. She sent me a text. Um, she just had a couple questions. Did we get the Home Depot sponsorship? Ken, I don't think we have to be. We did not. Just not no, no. I, okay. They just can't. It's just they can't get the supplies. And she said they can't even get enough for their own stuff right now. Okay. <coughs> no. That, but I told them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. And then could the main stage coordinator contact me or send me the schedule for Thursday through Saturday so I can make sure I know what time slots I need to fill? So the only question I have is we need to change scales and tails from 11 and 1 on Saturday to noon and 1. Sorry, we're coordinating a big group at 11. And it's just going to work so much better if we can just do that. That's um, on Saturday? Yeah, they're usually really nice, but I hate to ask them to do it, but I need to. And then I can send her the schedule. We're just um, adding in the Thursday night recent change, and then I can join the first group on Saturday morning to make sure that their 10 o'clock time slot is good for them. But it's almost all. There's not actually that many slots because we have scales and tails and other things going on with. Okay. And do you have her email address to send that to her? Yeah, I have the. Is it in the update? Yeah. Yeah, I have my binder. Okay. Yeah, just send that to her, and I'll tell her that you'll be sending it to her. Okay. Good. Yeah. You want to tell her that Amy's martial arts will provide stuff again this year. I just got that this afternoon. The other thing on our Miss Orum is doing like a little Miss Orum. Do you remember Shelly Seastrand brought this up last week? Orum Little Miss or Little Miss Summerfest, I think is what they're calling Little it. Little Miss Summerfest? Yeah. Okay. So they're doing that on Thursday night at seven, just <coughs> after our food eating competitions. Did, did you get a chance to check check with a mammoth contract yet? Uh, we're checking. Okay, perfect. So assuming that mammoth will be there, 
<laughs> Thursday night at seven, they're going to do that, which historically has been a scales and tails show. But we just wouldn't need them to do a show on stage that night at seven. And honestly, this will probably bring a bigger crowd to the stage. Then. But what time are you doing? So we do uh, eating contests at six. Yep, and then six thirty. Do you want to move that scales and tails to five on family night? When did you have them? I didn't have them. Oh, oh, we no, always do one that night. Just moved it earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, just if you could, if we're doing family night. Yeah. Family day. Yep. And they're going to be there. Yep. They've usually been pretty, pretty nice about providing yeah. it. They always good. draw a crowd. So. Yeah. It's a good idea. But that would move them probably to five versus the seven. Okay. And yeah, maybe see if they can do it five instead of seven. Instead of. Okay. Next, student marshals. Cool. So, <clears throat> Wiener Sticks was digging our hot dogs. Uh, apartments is doing pies again this year. And then it's still working on finalizing student marshals. I'm so surprised by that. <laughs> we think we'll have it by next Friday. Make a lot of phone calls in the next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as you know if you'll send me the names, I can order the reports. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, right. And the spellings. Thank you. I just had this issue with something else I did. They <laughs> throw a web by a different name. Oh, but you know what? We'll, we'll send them into the school if the principals hey, don't respond to phone calls. Hey, Gail, were they just wearing the Collinger t shirts? You might want to grab their sizes too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay. Pool party. It's, it's, it's taken yeah. care of, it's all set. Lenny's all excited, Lenny from the hospital is all excited to come back. Go so, Lenny. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, pray. Alright, um, so we had a meeting where we discussed the um, idea that I've been presenting about possibly closing down um, one lane on 800 South and how we might be able to find a better solution to that. So, um, the solution we came up with is that we will um, move the start of the parade from 700 South to 620 South, which is pretty much just along, like just extending it along the edge of that big park that's there by those two buildings. <coughs> So that big park right there would be part of staging area, which we'd already talked about having the high schools next to that. Now that whole thing's in the staging area. Um, so then we, uh, so we're going to use 800 East for staging and use the north, so the parking lot of those two church buildings kind of divided up into like a southeast lot and a northwest lot. So the northwest lot and the street are going to be staging. And then the southeast lot will be our parking area. So we don't plan to go across the street to Costco. Um, we're going to create signs that will say, you know, like, this way this vehicle is in the parade, this way this vehicle is not in the parade. And then in theory, we'll have everyone going in the right direction. It's not really going to happen that way. But <laughs> <laughs> you got um, a dream. Think positive. Think positive. <laughs> um, and then, so we'll be able to direct all vehicles not in the parade over to our room. And it really is a large lot and if they end up they end up being about the same amount um like of spacers, maybe a little bit more in the, the southeast lot. Um but the southeast lot even they just feel a little more spacious. Like even when you look at that, they just feel more spacious, which is fine. I think it'll be better. Um, that way I'm a little concerned about what our commercial operators are gonna say if they were really passionately enjoying the double exit. We're not gonna have that anymore. But as I came up with a tentative um, seating arrangement, I what do you call this safety map? Um, I um, I try to still do some sort of like every other, like from the road, from the parking lot, except for these first three meetings. Obviously, those would all be the most of the weekend. There are going to be some once we start organizing exactly who goes where. We're only at 28 applicants right now, and I just looked at my notes and remembered that I was just to send you an email to forward to all previous applicants. Okay, so let me make a note for myself. Too. I made a note also. Um, so that we can try and get more than those 28 um, applicants. But um, as of right now, I have it mapped out for 90, and we only hit 81 last year. 
Um, but of course, most came with, you know, in the month It's always been in the back of a flatbed, right? Yeah. But I think but we could have a mic down. down. Yeah, we could do something, right? Yeah. Yeah. I actually like that idea. Yeah. And then there's, cause there's so many announcements and reading that to be able to train yeah. off. That feels great. That's a great idea. Okay. So I will let it know that, yes, we would love to have that. I'll let Kirsten know that we'll have a partner. Um, and you said it is possible? It's a challenge. I mean, everything's possible, right? It's for the back of the flatbed truck. That's for the announcer's that so you can see down the line of sight yeah. to the to the frame. Right. Is it a mobile chair or is it a power chair? No. Do you guys? Have you guys ever I want to say it's a power chair. I don't, I don't yeah. Know. So maybe it like lifts or something. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't doesn't Brinley's like extend? Yeah. Brinley's does have the eye level, so uh, she's about as high as me when it's all the way up. Uh -huh. But those things are heavy. They're like three hundred pounds just the yeah, yeah. So it's not like you can exactly just lift them up into a right. truck. So, so I wonder, could, could we have um, Shane or Shane Mobile ramp? That we set that's on the street side that you get up. Part, the part of your problem is for ADA. What? For ADA to link to that. Yeah. And we probably have to stay there permanently and not be moved. Yes. And um, power chairs being so heavy, you can't just have like an aluminum ramp. <laughs> you have to have something that can support that weight, or else it will just crash. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and he could be, he could be yeah. onto the side yeah. of the truck or in front of the truck. Give him options and then just record it for a moment because I mean, if he's part of the air, he's going to be that option. Like, this is what we can do. If he's going to be on the very ground, and if he's going to be on the very ground, and if he's going to be on the very ground, and if he's going to be on the very ground, and if he's going to be on the very ground, and if he's going to be on the we can have him on the part what? of the truck that's right next to you know, the parade and have him out there the parade. He did use the social media to mm -hmm. let me set. So we've got everyone staging before. He can like go around and take over the social media and do like some lighting. Yeah. That's an interesting, that's good. So if he comes to the stage He's like a pre-announcer. He comes to the stage area, he can do some, hey, I'm here with this group that I've got to be like, we'll be there we'll be there helping so no i think it'd be fine it added like a nice element for him we've only done facebook lives in the past but so, I mean, so I could ask for the options. Either you could be next to the truck, or um, you could do some pre promoting before the day. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to be the current announcer? Just to yeah. um, mention this, because I mean, if you get in the mindset, if you've been in one man show for years and then now we'll throw a side page and come familiar with, would it be better to set them first? Just a hint, though. Okay. Hang out a little bit, get each other's eyes. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I'd tell them for sure, but I don't necessarily feel like I need to get his permission for it per se, as much as this is what's going to happen. Yeah, just so, say, hey, yeah. this is what we're thinking. Yeah, so I'll let Christian kind of, I'll give him the options first. Everybody needs to listen to Christian. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll give him the options first, and then um, depending on what he says, he says he does want to do that, then I'll let him, I'll bring Dr. Kenton, and I can go from there. Yeah, perfect. Um, but I think that's all I had, and you had an update on the lack of bands. I haven't found any other bands to march the parade. Um, partially because there's three other parades that day. Oh. So oh. Cedardale's parades that day, Springville's parades that day. Nice. Are the same in the morning? Day, in the morning? It doesn't matter. It takes a bag it's logistically a to get that many people and kids in one spot. It takes like two hours to get ready, two hours there at the parade, two hours, you know, and then they would have an hour to get to the next parade. It doesn't make they sense. They can walk down Springville Main Street to Orem. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep marching. So, and funny enough, it was the Springville band that said, oh, we have done both before, and maybe we could do it. And they're like, so they want to be there and support us, but they, like, Sierra Hills and Pleasant Grove, we're both doing that. Pleasant Grove, I think, is the next weekend. So it's like, we can't do two grades back to back. It's just a lot. So I don't know. Let me finish. What do you have now? We only have the Orem bands. Orem? And Orem bands are combining. All three of their bands. Do we have any of the like bagpipers? The big bagpipers? I think usually the bagpipers are playing on it. I don't know if that will be interesting yet. So I think we'll at least have that. Last year, Timpanogos did their own. This year, they're all merged together. They're calling themselves the Orem City. I, they had their kickoff meeting last night. So yeah. um, they're calling themselves the Orem City Marching Band. And their uniforms, they're planning to have. 
they have like a new lightweight fabric and so they're planning they'll buy like the little rompers that they wear and then the tunic they're going to get a new one every year that is specifically for that year's show okay. so like this year's is pretty sweet do you have kids in there? Yeah. Yeah. Brittany, what's yeah. your play? Um, I'm going to play Johnson Arts of Politics oh cool um, American Flirt, I've talked to everybody I've talked to 20 now American Flirt, that's when they're playing moratorium happening where they combine all their masks to start their band first week in June so that's the other problem because it's not just sharing it with other parades it's also the first week the of January, which is often the start of band season. Yeah, so they don't have anything yet. Um, that goes for the university bands as well. We don't have any bands together because there's no students there. Did something change? Pull all of them. We paid the $500, right? Oh, yeah. Something. I think they know. I think. Um, maybe we'll get one other band, but it's not a thing. Support. Well, I, yeah. we have the tight bands, and last year we had the, the Beats and Streets done. That was really cool. Okay, so you know, can show you something? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about the green band or whatever it's called? Oh, yeah, the, the green band. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And then in the cheer squads, I mean, no, that's, that's, good. Good. that's good. That's good. That has stuff. It's just things are trying to white. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm not so <laughs> okay, awesome. So, admin items. I know Steve had to step out for a little bit, so do you want us to just go ahead with other people and then? Yeah, so one of the things that we need to talk about, well, we kind of, so we're getting lots and lots of nonprofits asking to be at Summerfest, but we do the space and stuff like that. We, in the past, we just limited it to community related to Orem City, so like, please fire our neighborhood improvement team. Um, oh, right. You know, everybody, those, and then maybe one or two nonprofits are related. Like, we're going to be a strong city, so we're going to be strong last year. That kind of thing. So, oh, we've had kids on the news, we've had UV Museum, we've had several different others. So, are we concerned about space? That's what we're going to limit it. Yeah, well, it's space. It's space, it's getting the tents, the tables, and all that too. So I think what well, if it's okay with the committee, we'll just offer it to them to come on Wednesday night to Sarah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great right. with everybody. And they have to bring their own stuff. Yeah. Well they should be everyone should be bring that and everyone should bring their own tents yeah. and tables yeah. yeah. and all of that. Okay. That's what we'll do. That's what we wanted to do. I just wanted to make sure. We yeah. kind of want to showcase that because we're trying to highlight. Yeah. They won't need power, but like. No, I don't think we'd offer any power. Oh, no. I don't think, I mean, yeah. for that reason, yeah, showcase, I don't think they get power. They, they bring their own stuff. It's still daylight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. And we do have one booth that we, Harris Orthodontics. Came on as a sponsor, so they're going to want to boost at the Wednesday night. Oh, I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not <laughs> well, well, they, they want, want to do this with you. But yes. I told them no. I was going to say, I'm looking through these right now. It's like Renegade Chiropractic. Yeah. They said they're going to be mm -hmm. selling first day appointments. So they could be yeah. selling something. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, That's not so. Yeah, so everyone has all the sponsor stuff in front of you. We've raised 65000 as of today. Wow, that's awesome. So that's pretty good. Um, Chip and Elvis will be our lead sponsor, and then we'll go from there. Um, we knew we're going to have five food sponsors this year, so um, I, so it will be up to sixty-seven once it's done. Well. Yeah, so that's fantastic yeah. work. Yeah. But good job. Yeah, and sadly, great. oh, yes, oh she um, sadly, we talked to Migos not coming. Some this morning, we're not even talking. Yeah. No hamburger meal. No hamburger meal. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had to it's, wait till Steve left before you could so say Oh, he that. knows about it. <laughs> it's your daughter and her mother. What was their reason? There's a long story. Like is that show? And then that show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you have any, like, scans with any, like, plates that might be good like that? Let me know. We have leather bees. We have, um, I'm going to look over the, yeah, I think I've got back to the mansion. We can talk to them again. So we have Kona, leather bees, and sweet roll tacos. And Sarah. These are, these are for our coupons that everyone gets. Oh, wait, are you doing things? Oh, thank you. So just to, that was the sad things this year. And then everyone on June 3rd, um, save the day, that's the appreciation dinner. We'll be up at um, for the Friday night. It'll we'll be up at June 3rd. June 3rd. June 3rd. Yeah. It will be up at Canyon Park. Yeah. Um, and May we will be having a summer garden party, and they're doing garden. most of the work, so I appreciate them. So is that outside? They'll be inside, but they're going to transform one of their buildings into a home event. Do you have a time? I think it's at 6. Okay. Yeah. This is nice as their Christmas party. Yes. Um, I, a couple things. I forgot. Thank you for getting up on that. I wasn't worried about that. Are they getting ready more than one? If I said just said it would be availability. Okay, so yeah. we'll just kind of see what happens. Uh -huh. um, and then um, with us extending the parade down to 620, um, I'm going to have houses. I would love to grab little three yeah, bags. Yeah, just like you know, and I can get them. Okay, I will have them. Okay, I Okay. I'm like, I'm so sorry, we're taking over your Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we did one other thing, and so instead of doing for the Orange Scott Talent and for the baby contest, we usually do target gift cards or visa cards. Um, we have a partnership with what we call corporate traditions yeah. here. So it's a gift yeah. certificate that can be used with various, they can choose whatever. So we were able to get those, um, purchase those, I already have those, so we'll be doing that instead. That's right. a good idea. That's awesome. That's all I have. Thank you, Kenneth. Okay, read with budget. Uh, he's in St. George. Okay. Spending the budget. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, parks. Anything? Uh, um, it's an update on the Skeleton Tales tent. I was able to order two sides yes. of the doors that are available to move they want to on that one. So that's that one set up. And then. Um, more As soon as possible, and I can send out like a form or something, and we can organize it that way. Yeah, we have a donor this year. Well, a sponsor. A sponsor, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, everything's pretty much set. We're just finalizing the last few details. We ran all email, so we'll be on the same page. Okay. Kind of wondering what the little Miss Summerfest fabrics need, because we don't want to buy that part. Do you know how old they're doing that for? Like the little tiny girls? I have no idea. But we only have like oh, we one change in the <laughs> It's going to be small, little, but I am not know So I guess we'll try and follow up more. Okay. Sounds good. Um, risk management. Jason? He's not here, so we can do whatever we want. Sweet. Bounce houses. Five bounce houses. <laughs> Don't secure them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Don't secure them. <laughs> okay, publicity. Peak. 
Yeah, so the big deadline next week is the magazine, Friday. next Friday. So make sure you have everything in, and we'll probably invite a few of you to come and review the magazine with us before we send it to the publisher. Just Can well, the list? Absolutely. If anyone else wants to volunteer. I trust you. Okay. <laughs> you should. Do we have to send something in? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, um, if you haven't been reached out to yet, there's, we're just going to go with the same stuff. We'll update the yeah. dates, the times. Um, and then they have that'll go to the printer probably in two weeks. And then, yeah. awesome. Do you know the front cover yet? Uh, we have some uh, nice drone footage from last year that we're going to pull, pull well, from. Awesome. That was my idea, unless you had a better idea. That's awesome. still photo or what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, just some, we had some aerial <laughs> pictures. Yeah, it's, Harry, it's very Harry Potter. <laughs> no, that would be something. Well, that would be cool. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Harry Potter. You know, like, it might be fun to put a QR code where they could, though. That would have been the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's an easy thing to do. Yeah, like an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can make those. That'd be fun. Yeah. So that's it. If you have time. That's it. Okay. okay. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. Purchasing, Trevor. Sort of pilot for bound taxes. Oh, Amazon Prime. With the ability to fly. <laughs> okay, awesome. And also the three bungee towers. You have ordered those too, right? <laughs> and the three long zip lines. Okay, <laughs> public safety. Uh, here. He's not here. We collaborated on the story quite a bit, and okay. everything else is okay. Emergency no. management. Uh, yeah, so we've got a couple of things. So working on the mass gathering permit, I'll have that by the May meeting. So we have to, there's no way to do it until six weeks out. Yeah. Oh, um, and then the other thing is we've always just well, done the first aid station yeah. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but it's sounding like Wednesday night with the car show, the business showcase, and these nonprofit groups. Going to be a lot busier. Um, so anything over 500 people for more than two hours. I don't know what. What are the hours on Wednesday night? It's not two hours. Four ninety nine last year. Yeah. Yeah. Four ninety nine for an hour and fifty nine minutes. Four ninety four hundred ninety nine people ate two thousand hot dogs. Well, we did no. serve a bunch of food. Does that require? Okay. Yeah, so, so we'll probably need an yeah, hour. We'll have over. We'll have over two we'll thousand. People come. <laughs> <laughs> I already have the food. <laughs> yeah, so we have to do the first aid and paramedics and stuff. I need someone well, to have to do it. It seems like we got out of the got We got away with it somehow last year, by the way. I think it was the timing. So we didn't do it last year because you guys said there'd be less than five per show. No, I, th I thought it was a big timing. It wasn't good. I think it wasn't going to go long. Yeah. I think it was an hour and a half. Is that word? I think that's what it was. Totally. I mean, I can't see, control the lingering. Those people are lingering <laughs> for other reasons. <laughs> so when you send it out on the invitation, what do we put? We just say it starts at six. This, yeah. And just yeah. this event will not require a mass gathering. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we already have to write it. It's just whether we have more fire guys there, yeah. with more overtime, and PD there with overtime. Mm -hmm. yeah. just mm -hmm. We can have food, so I got food. Yeah. Just haven't put the ambulance in the fire. Let's be safe, so whatever that means. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, I'll make sure that they're there. Yeah, yeah. no. no. We need to provide the water bowl. Yeah, we'll be out of town. Yeah, we'll be out of town. I don't want any emails. Call. Yeah, so everything we do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. Let's just look at let's look at it a little bit. Okay. I, I, okay. And we'll do what we need to do for sure. I just want to make sure that we're. <laughs> yeah, if you can put like ends and. 7:45, and then you can lean it or after, and then we're okay. But, yeah, all this stuff. So the first aid booth, the paramedics, the water, the yeah, bathrooms, all of that. Might be there Wednesday night if we have that big. We'll we'll find a way. We'll we yeah, we'll do it right for sure. I just it's a big to do to bring all that stuff. We don't have to. What do we have to do? We have to do it. We will. For that we give out, can it just say water or does it have to say free water? It does say water. We just have to have you know, places that have water. Yep. So last time we just took a pack of water bottles and stuck them in four or five different spots. I don't think anybody even asked for them. But the information is good, but yeah. it's nowhere else. Okay. So. Mm -hmm.
Okay. That's all I've got. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So, Debbie, once again, thank you so much for your service, and I'm getting very excited. Yeah. I'll only be in town for a Any way I can before. And then um, I have a, truck, a question about the fire truck and the parade. The wives are going to be on the trucks too. So there's yeah. going to be a truck, ambulance, and an SUV. All three of those things. So okay, I have the question of where will the wives be? On the fire truck? If, if they choose, yeah. So they can, they can be on the fire truck, they could be in the SUV. And there will be a, a, a spot for them. Okay. Where well, there may not be a spot for is everybody's. Uh, all I'm the grandkids and all that. I'm taking all my everything. Yeah, you're leaving. At the end of the day, what? So Mayor Brunch used to coordinate all these vehicles, <laughs> and nobody wanted to take that one out because it was quite a bit of coordination. So we went back to what we did prior to Mayor Brunch, which was fire truck, ambulance, and and then the battalion. Yeah, team. and I know I know people like Tom and Dave will want to walk. Over. Yeah, and then there was always that. Yeah. So the SUV on the back, the uh, hitch will be open, and it'll have all the candy. What's up there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we will comply with. We will have to get some strong men. Not having to yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah. I will, will overemphasize that again and again. Yeah. Yay. That's funny. Hey, once again, yeah. thank you for all the work you've done. Kelly, you, I was on, I know your report. You brought up the dinner, just for my name with the time of the dinner. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And did you have anything else? No, I did not. Sam, did we ask you to be about? Like, what are their, their are they bringing all their needs or are there things they're expecting us to have? I the only thing I offered was a stage and sound. Okay. And then I but that's all based. Did we figure out a man that's available for that? Yeah, we're checking on that. That's okay. Like, that's not a problem. But like can we just leave up the tables and chairs from the pie and hot dog eating contest, or do they need other I'll, I'll so Claire or Miss Aura is the one doing it. I'll clarify those details, but I'll say what we're planning is providing sound and the tent and the chairs and the stage, but that you did bring everything. And, and one other thing is they're going to announce the scholarship winners from our kindness scholarship prior to right at the beginning of the pie and the perfect. Contact. Set the mood. I saw that there was a bunch of listings. It looks like maybe even more room to add like apply to be a volunteer for each individual thing on the website. Have we posted anything about that? Hey guys, would you like to volunteer for this thing? I think we did call for volunteers, but it never hurts to do it again. And I think we may need to update a couple of things. Okay. We just things. need to take some off from yeah. that. Because yeah. right? yeah. yeah. some of the events we're doing a little different this year, so yeah. we have the same need. But yeah. Like highlight the different Yeah, like no, I think that's a good idea. Would you want to volunteer for the, uh, for the kids' sex? Would you want to volunteer for the I'll be with the yeah, no, that's a good idea. I'll make a note of that for sure. I mean, maybe that's more suitable for next month, but just like, I might even know because I know that we'll need another question now. So, yeah. Um, so I just think it can't work at the same time. <laughs> if you want to add in hospitality yeah. too, that would be awesome. Okay. Oh. Because I've got manual circles, but not enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey. So our next meeting is not, not April twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> the final meeting. Final meeting. Right. Yeah. 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 May eighteenth. May eighteenth. That's our last meeting before summer fest. Well, it's go time. Yeah. Yay! So excited. Thank you everybody for coming tonight. Um, oh, yeah, co chair. All right. Can we try to do that really quick? Yeah. So, generally, we have a co chair that was selected usually in like December. Um, essentially, the co chair is somebody who's willing to serve as this chair next year. And um, since Liz isn't here, <laughs> Why did you just look at me? No, I'm just saying. Oh, I was like, oh, so my gosh, is it Liz? Is Tom done? No, I thought you guys were just going to call it. She's not done, and she's going to transition oh, off the train if Vanessa's going to. So I think that actually would work. I think that's great. Oh, Liz would be great. I actually she's think she would so be great. Yeah. So, like, and she'll be coming off the train, which is a really big 
When we've had parade and chair at the same time, that's a tough one. Such a big commitment. But so should we? Um, we got to be done by six thirty because you need the Zoom link. So yeah. If everybody's good with Liz, we'll ask her and make sure that she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. She was unopposed. Early, we nominated you for co-chair for next year. Yeah, that's right. Let's ask you one to draw. Yeah, exactly. Thursdays from ten to ten. Yeah, I myself. Well, they're not going to make it. Yeah, she brought them. Yeah, that breaks my heart. Friday is. No, Friday. That's the only time we have to work. Nine dollars for a builder. It's so good. So uh, yeah, so we talk to Liz. If everybody's good with that, we'll talk to her, of course, and make sure she. I think she'd do a good job. No, not really. She has to run the meetings, and then she has to. Not this year, though. This year, no, not no. No, next year she has to run the meetings. She's just agreeing with me. Not why I kind of thought you looked at me and I was like, this one's looking weird. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Let me move this up. Okay. Yeah, meetings end on Friday, 10 to 10. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next month. Awesome. Okay. She's very good. I need you to extend an hour and a half to reach for the Yeah. Better than that.